YouTube. Yes. Hello, YouTube. Good afternoon. Welcome, people. Here is TNT. We are not a class, English class. We are not, uh, I'm not a teacher. We are here just to talk and to make friendship and to make this moment a very pleasant for all. Yeah. Today, we are going to talk about the best way to learn English. I believe that's not a new topic for almost of you here, almost of us, but, but it's important to remember. Yes, to uh, change information. And we have 10 questions to talk. I just put here on the chat these questions. But it's important not to be so... Uh, to be affection on the questions, yeah? Uh, you can make new questions, uh, talk about different topics, but let's try to be in the same uh, big topic about ways to learn English more easy, more quickly, or in the best way, okay? I will split us in two rooms, one minute, because the conversation... Uh, would be better in less people. One minute. Breakout rooms. Yes, manually. One minute. Ana Paula. Swelling is just here and right now. Yes, swelling. Hey, I don't understand. Can you repeat? You just me? hear us right now, or yes, we will... yes. perfect, perfect. Uh, Paula, Marcio, the first one, the second one, Gabriel, Juliana, and Yes. Bye, bye, guys. See you soon. Uh, 10 minutes to two hour, I will uh, put you again on the main room. Yes? If you have a problem, just press the button. Uh, and there you go. Bye-bye, guys.
so sorry guys i think that we are in trouble here with on the youtube live because i make two rooms and we have people on the breakout room one and two but the main room that were on youtube we are alone yeah we don't have people here and i will make again the rooms one minute just once sorry and uh i remember that ana paula marcio and murilo are in the room too yes i will put you again on that room one minute ana paula one minute room i will put you on the room one yes another room bye bye Marcio, bye bye. Murilo, sorry, Murilo, sorry, sorry. Bye bye. <laughs> okay, guys. No? Well, no problem. I don't okay. receive. <laughs> room two again, Ana, bye bye. Marcio, room two again, bye bye. <laughs> Murilo, room two, bye bye. No? I sorry, I will recreate the rooms, guys. One minute. Two, just the last room. Yes. Good. Good. Recreate rooms. Just one. Manually. Very good. Ana Paula. Mr. Marcio the big one, the best of them, and the Murilo. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Sorry, I'm a little bit crazy, but it's good, yeah? Okay, good. Ju, Gabriel, Suela, and me. We are in the main room. Sorry, YouTube, we are here again. A little bit of a... Uh, uh, complicated for me, but we are here. Let's start again. Yeah, we are on the. We have the questions here. Yes, we have again. Um, we start with a different question. It's because the vocabulary. It's important to us learning about study about vocabulary. How is important? Why is important? How no? But uh, why is important? Gabriel. Well, uh, in my view, my point of view, in my mind, uh, to me, since I started uh, to uh, to learn English, is the most important to study is vocabulary in my mind because I have my mind that this kind of thing is totally interconnected with another skills because if you study vocabulary, you learn uh, you learn. Uh, you will you will you will learn to speak you will learn to uh, write you will learn to read you will learn to yes. uh, have a like a less accent uh, i i could say and and sometimes you are listening as well because if you learn new vocabulary you all the time you will remember the the words the the translate and I think to me it's very important. In my opinion, it's the most important uh, thing to learn, uh, like when you start uh, study English. Uh, like I, I, I'm here speaking a little bit English, but sometimes I forgot. I, I forgot the word. If maybe if I, yes. I read more, if I maybe uh, uh, write, uh, write yeah, like write down or, or only write more, for automatically, I will uh, remember the, the word and the time I I'm gonna the time I'm gonna speak. Very very good. I'm I'm agree with you. I have the same point. Yeah, Ju, and about you. You are a lawyer, and the words in the in the law is so important. Yeah, and the words in English because uh, we need to express ourselves to the word. Yeah. We have one idea inside us, and we need to put out this idea. And the vocabulary is the way, the path that we have to explain this. 
What do you think the importance of a vocabulary and to learn new vocabulary is? Yes, I'm a journalist and a lawyer. And so the word is it's yes both. in both both professions. Yeah. I think he, I I agree with Gabriel. I think with, without you, uh, vocabulary vocabulary you can you can express uh, when you want to uh, to to need to talk English uh, or other language. Uh, I think he, the older the the grammar is important too, but essential, a crucial. The in the beginning, of course, the vocabulary, the words, it's crucial. You can you can talk uh, just uh, just the words, and the older person can understand. Yes. Uh, Without today the exact grammar, but the older person can understand if you use the correct words. Very, I think very good. Sure. Yes, yes. I remember one research that shows in almost of the language the child start at, at speaking when they have about two thousand uh, words on their vocabulary. Yeah. It's not uh, the beginning of the speaking, but uh, when when one child have um, fluently conversation, it's not a papa, mama, not about it, or, or with a, a little bit errors on grammar, but can make themselves more uh, understandable. Uh, and it's so important for me too, that's because I started with this question and I made a, co a connection with the first one, yeah? Uh, what do you think is the best way to learn new vocabulary words in English? Guys, I will start. Uh, we have, it's just one point of view, yeah? We have a passive vocabulary and we have an active vocabulary. Actually, on this conversation, we are using the active vocabulary because it's the vocabulary that you have right now uh, more quickly and more easy to express ourselves. But I, I have total uh, certainty that if we open uh, now one website with uh, from BBC, for example, with a news from war between Russia and Ukraine, you can read and we can see different words, more difficult that, that uh, uh, you can use in our current conversation because we have a um, passive vocabulary of these words. The best way to learn new vocabulary, in my opinion, is uh, make a connection and bring the words that you have in our passive vocabulary because if you are using, it's for me, it's good I have this vocabulary, but it's important for me not uh, be this, this vocabulary just on the on my passive vocabulary. And for this, I, I need to use one good way is write, for example, sentences. I try to, to use it, write a lot during my day because, for example, my to-do list, I'm my job, and one different people for, from another team call me, Diego, I need one report about the uh, reach of one new campaign. I just uh, put this on my to-do list in English. And I try to use a different word to express myself, uh, kind of a synonymous and different expressions. That's my, my advice and my, my answer for the first question. And for you, Ju, what is the best way? to learn a new vocabulary? Uh, I think uh, I don't have the best, the best way. I think the best way, it's uh, it meet, meets your ob obje obje objective, your goals. Mm -hmm. uh, but for me, I think if I learn I learning uh, new words and the words, a specific words for my for my world 
is important for for me, for my work, for my life. I think it is a, it's important to me. And the read books, it's a good too, because you can you can repeat the words because uh, sometimes I I forgot the words. And I, I, I just know I forgot when I, I put in activity, activity like he was talking here. Very, very good. Gabriel? Yeah, I agree with you guys. Uh, like you, Diego said before, when I started studying English as well, obviously, before, uh, after I, when I, ha when I had a, a little bit uh, a little bit more English. I I use it to write down uh, of my my day when I like yo today I'm gonna work. It's like it to try to write a little bit and to learn and and the end the day I I I I'm gonna I would go on the translator and like it to solve the I don't know how can I say corrigir, but to solve the the, the 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 errors, I don't know. And but to me right now, I I could say the the thing that helped me a lot, uh, my English improved my English, my vocabulary. It was uh, an app called Manhack. Maybe you know this app uh, for another name, maybe Ank. Enki, Enki, yeah, flashcards, yeah, yeah flashcards. Exactly, yeah. Very good. The, the, the same app, a similar app, but it's another another course and with another name uh, called the Man, Man Hack Memorization Hack. Is the similar app all the oh, time. It, I I had a a lot of phrases and um, nowadays I study uh, yet and to me uh, helped me a lot. I had a, I, I have a, a lot of phrases and sometimes I, I'm studying again and I try to remember some phrases and the phrases, is, uh, it was hard to me. I try to put again and all my day, every day I study again. And I study a new phrase as well because uh, there's a, the, the, this course, I, like I, I say, uh, how can I say? I can choose this website uh, still. I can enter the website and inside this website, there is a, uh, there is a, a podcast. In this podcast, there is a, a lot of phrase and I can to add this phrase inside my, my, my app and uh, automatically I study, I'm gonna, yeah, I, I study these phrases again. Very good. And, and to me, I think, he, this app helped me, helped me a lot. And I use it to read some books in English as well for app called Elwa, E-W-A in English, this app. And if I'm mistaken, I read it maybe five, seven books in English. Uh, it's very good because this this book, uh, you can uh, listen in because there's a, a mic, a, a person, uh, talking this book, audio book, and you can translate uh, word by word or the phrase, the whole phrase, all phrase, it's inside the app, inside the, the book is very good. And for me, it's a, a good point. And last week I, I began to, st I started uh, read a book and to me it's the most hard book that I tried to read. Uh, the name of this book is the first Christmas tree, and then I stopped it because it's very hard. To... It's a kind of an old English, yeah? It's a old English. Yeah, it's yeah. It's so difficult, yeah? yeah. We have a different very, words. Very, the words, yes. the, same, the same means that, that I know, but or it's totally different. Yeah, I mean, it's a kind of a, a, a old Portuguese. It's so difficult to yeah. have a different meanings. So the same word, you have a, a word more rebuscadas. I don't know this exactly. word in English. Yeah? Exactly. That's the it. same with uh, the House of the Dragons. 
Like Machado de Assis, perfect, perfect. That's the English archaic. That's the word. Yeah, I, I think that's archaic English. Uh, but I, I remember I tried to read uh, a Game of uh, Game of Thrones on in English. So difficult because they uh, George George the author used uh, uh, old English because it's a kind of a different time. Yeah, it's not. Um, Idade Média, but it's a kind of a different word. So difficult. Yeah. Uh, start with uh, child histories is so good. If you you try, it's interesting too, yeah. News is good because, uh, as Juliana said, the journalists use currently vocabulary to, to reach uh, the, the people more, how can I say, more uh, close it to their news, yeah, and it helps a lot. Very, very good. And you, Ju, you, you, you always react, yeah? And uh, let's jump to the third one, yeah? Gabriel, please read to us this, this third one and Ezra. Number three? Three, yes. Okay. In your opinion, what are some effective methods for improving your English pronunciation? Wow. Um, I could say uh, I have, uh, I don't have a lot of property talking about it, this, uh, this question because to me, my, my first, like, uh, my first contact with uh, speaking in English, uh, it was this platform, Talk and Talk. Uh, I've never talked in English before. Uh, I, I I had a, a friend that I I talked a little bit maybe one day for a week sometimes I I I I I I, I sent uh, some messages for for him hey good afternoon sup how's going on how was your day but uh, a little bit uh, conversations and to me it's a uh, to be uh, to to be here the talk and talk and uh, but i think he, this platform is uh, is the the good method to to learn to improve your uh, pronunciation maybe you're speaking and automatically you're speaking as well because if you uh, if you have uh, if you want to have less accent like it, it's pronunciation automatically you will speak in as well very good, very good. And you, Ju, what's your method to be more, to, to do more good pronunciation? Yes, I, I start to uh, reading books uh, for my for my friend. Uh, uh, he is a uh, foreign, and they he give me feedback with my pronunciation, and they. Uh, we are changed. I I teaching for for her for years uh, Portuguese and uh, he uh, teach me English uh, and I I record my voice in my my cell phone. Oh, and I, very good. Uh, in the WhatsApp, I create. Yes. One group, just me in the group, yes. and I send the 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 message for myself. Oh, very good, very good tip, yeah, Juliana. I I will try make the same because for me, when you are here yourself, you we can adjust the pronunciation. Yeah. Oh, it's not good. It's good. Yeah. Guys, I I will try. I I will show to you one very very interesting tool that I discovered. Today I'm 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 make some research to about uh, from our conversation and I'm I discovered this uh, platform. The name is You English. It's a kind of a uh, YouTube, and you input one word there, and uh, the platform may make a uh, a full uh, research in all YouTube videos. 
and put just a lot of pages in the point of that word are in a context. So interesting, I will share here. And I, you can see my, my screen. Very good. I make, for example, one search for one very difficult word. For me, for example, so difficult. Obviously, obviously, so difficult to, to repeat this question uh, because it's a kind of a travel lingua for us in Portuguese. But you, you input here the word and you make the research and they show here a lot of uh, uh, videos with this word in a different context with different accents in different words. You can choose the, the accent here. I chose the United States. But it's so interesting. For example, his beautiful jeans and his denim shirt, and obviously, that's all you need. That's all you need. And you, you know, the go to the other. Not as a, I mean, obviously, you're it's collaborator. You're acknowledging your collaborators in a way which is very. Um, it's more brave, difficult to go out, yeah. And open so Another one. Helps. Living on a dollar a day or less, obviously adjusted for inflation. That more percentage. Easy. Obviously, the, the, oh, the, the, this is the guy, yes. <laughs> just here in the United States. The sort of the, the, I mean, these are unexpected challenges, obviously. Obviously a terrible tragedy. You're absolutely right, Eric. We lost uh, 11 employees. That's going to attack us and bait us. You know, the closest we have, obviously, is Russia with its uh, nuclear. Very good, I guess. I, I really, I, 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 for me, so interesting because we can repeat, you know, Obama said the same word in a different way two times, yeah? Obviously, obviously. It's depend of the context. And it helped me a lot. I really appreciate this, this platform. And the, the repetition, guys, the key of the success in the pronunciation, the repetition. Obviously, obviously, knowledge, knowledge, knowledge. Obviously, obviously. All the time. It's so important. Uh, separate a period of time in our study to repeat these, these words. Uh, it helps us a lot. Very good. The name is uh, U English. Just put on the Google search. So we have just one. It's not so, so difficult to, to know. Uh, very, very good. Let's go to the fourth four, the, the four question. How important is to practice reading and writing in, in English on a regular basis. I will start, yes. Uh, we, we said before about it, uh, reading is so important because it's the way that you uh, acquire a new vocabulary and you make more. Because on the conversation, you use short uh, expressions. It's so common. We don't make a so long expression, a so long phrase, yeah? Sentence, that's the correct word for this. When you are reading, you have uh, a different context. We have uh, this, this more uh, long uh, terms and expressions, sentences. Help us a lot to acquire a new vocabulary. And uh, uh, how can I say? The, the, the way that the, the English is, is writing, so important to us, yes? And uh, writing too, because when you put your, your senses, like, uh, for example, writing, you are using one pen, you are, take a paper, you put your, your uh, touch on, this, on this, this study. You are seeing the paper and you are repeat in loud of voice. And it's so interesting because more, uh, quantum I don't know this expression in English, guys. Uh, how many, how many uh, senses you put in our study, more you acquire and the more you learn uh, this subject, yeah? A uh, regular base because it's important to uh, uh, make again and again to, to building a regular vocabulary, expressions, uh, this stuff, yeah? For you, Ju. Yeah, I agree with you. I think it, it's important to for organize the thoughts when you when you read and you write too, you can organize uh, better your thoughts. 
Very good. Indy Gabriel. Yeah, man, I agree with you, with Julian as well. And I think it, like I said before, it's in third connected with another skills because when you read and you write, you learn more skills, you learn more vocabulary. And when you're reading, you like, oh, I, I try when I when I'm I my I I am myself I'm alone in my room I try reading uh, with uh, with speaking uh, with my my loud loud yeah speaking loud because when I speak in I I listen in as well and I try to uh, uh, how can I say corrigir in English to correct correct okay okay thanks uh, I try correct myself and and try uh, have uh, have a no accent and i think it's very uh, important to me like i say to me the vocabulary is the most important because yes. it's the the base of the english like yes. juliana said the grammar is very important but i i don't remember if i i study uh, grammar before maybe it's only the base like verb to be like modal verb and only to me only uh, it's it's more memorization it's more uh, reading it's more writing and that's it to me i i think it, i have my i have idea that uh, my in my thoughts it's very important uh, uh, like to, to to get through your idea the another person understand what you say what you say to me obviously it's very important uh, talking with confidence talking uh, to be fluent but when you uh, why uh, yeah why you doesn't you doesn't uh, fluent it's uh, very important to pass your idea come across come across yeah come across your idea and person understand oh i i would like to eat okay this person uh want it okay yes and for example writing is not so thing because for example my job i can use a translator grammarly app to write better yeah and I, I'm not uh, write a lot on my job. Uh, I'm speaking a lot because we have uh, different meetings with different countries, but write is not so common. And uh, it's one skill so important because when we are writing, we are developing our all the, the context of the, the English learning, not something about the writing because we, if we live in Brazil, we it's not common writing English, but it's important. It's so difficult, guys. If we, we just make one kind of exercise right now, uh, let's write an email for our boss about the uh, the next holiday. Yeah, we 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 can talk so easy about the new the, uh, about the holiday. Ah, I go to the beach. And I'm, I'm will uh, drink a beer in the middle of the sun, but try to, to write this. It's so difficult. It's not good because uh, the words in English, the, the way that we, we, we pronunciation is different that we write. Yeah. On Portuguese is more, more close, but on English is, uh, we have uh, words very different and it's so difficult. Uh, and it's a good exercise to improve our conversation skills. Not something about writing, but how the, the, uh, the whole conversation. So you said about writing. Uh, when I started uh, studying English, I write I write it down a lot, a lot of things of my day and I stop it. I don't know why, but I just, I stop it. And when I wanna uh, write something in English, man, all the time I forgot the, the word. I forgot because I stopped it too to write, only speak, only reading. And for example, uh, my wife's father lived in the uh, United States around tw 20 years. Yeah, 20 years. And he's uh, fluent in English, but when uh, he will uh, write something, it's very hard to to, to him because it's uh, he only speak, he only uh, speak, he only listening, but write is very hard. Him. Very good. Here we have a, a link. You can use this this platform. It's from Cambridge to help you write. You write one one exercise, and people made make a correction 
for you writing. It's a it's a free platform. And it's so good. You you can try again and again. It's not a problem. A different topics, a different uh, situations help me a lot. This this platform, yeah. It's it's so good. A different context to a friend or for a job proposes. It's very very good. I will see. Thanks for sure. Yes. Good. 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 Guys, uh, I will jump to the sixth one. Yeah, I think that's a good question. Do you prefer to learn English through traditional classroom instruction or online research? Why? For you, Ju? I prefer online because I'm trying to, in the past, the traditional, but I can I don't know what to say in English. I, 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 I'm not in food. I'm not in shame with being a thing. Because the, 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 the traditional, it's really traditional. <laughs> and I, I know I need older needs. I, I, and they don't, don't, how do you say? don't correspond, don't map to the things, my expectation, expectations. And I prefer online for, for many other reasons, but like it, it's more comfort, comfortable, I can, I can stay older place, in, in older places, I can talk with different people, I'm for online for Very good. And for you, Gabriel. Uh, I agree with Juliana, but I've never uh, did a, a I never attend a, a classroom, a traditional classroom, only in my my school when I was a child in the first uh, first uh, series. I don't know uh, first levels. I could say. And yes. sorry. Yes, yes, good. It's understandable. And, and, and to me, it, it was a very hard to, to learn about verb to be and another, another uh, things about English. And when I started studying English in my online course, uh, I didn't uh, learn almost anything and grammar only the base and to me okay i learned in english and okay because if i study in a traditional classroom for sure you start with a grammar some verb to be it's the most very hard and it's, it's you you uh, demands a lot of time to learn english maybe i know a people uh, close me works with me in my in firefighter study in a traditional classroom if i'm not mistaken three or four years and this oh, yeah time. and this person uh saw and uh, saw me in a classroom here and talk and talk and, and asked to me whoa how much how many times do you study english and i and i say one and one and a half year uh, more or less whoa yes, yes. yeah they, you are so I, divisive <laughs> yeah. very good yes <laughs> and i say uh, it's online of course online course very good very good it's a motivation for you yeah uh, this kind of feedback helps us a lot, yeah. Because uh, yeah. Uh, with online courses, we can make in the time that we have, yeah. If we have time, for example, just now during our lunch time, we can study. And if if you are, for example, on the street, we can uh, re we can listen, for example, a class. It helps us a lot. Welcome again. How was the conversation? In your rooms, guy. It's uh, interesting, good, bad, sadly. Talk to me. Talk to us. So the conversation is very, very great because today is the easy topic about learning English. Uh, we can talk a lot in another room uh, with Ana Paula and Murilo. I like it a lot. And you want about very good. Yeah, for me, it's the same. I loved our conversation and it was possible to 
to speak about different points of the view, and it yes. was amazing. Congratulations for the <laughs> questions. Yeah. And help and help us, yes. Yeah? So we yeah. are helping one each other and make a kind of a change between us. So good, yeah. Yeah. Guys, we have the seven question. I don't know if you, you answer yet on the on the room. I think that's so good to to end this this conversation. Yeah. What are some strategies you use to stay motivated while learning English? Because to be motivated is so important because we are making mistakes. It's common because we are learning, we, will, we are improving our skills and to be motivated, it's important. What is your motivation to keep learning English? In your case, Marcio. Bom, oh, in my case, my first motivator, my first motivator, I think about the Finnish, the future. Uh, nowadays, uh, I think about uh, this year, another year, I uh, I think about the Finnish because uh, this trajectory, I achieve one goals in the future. This uh, one point motivates me. Another point, I entend to get a new job, this job in a uh, specific area, this area, uh, English is totally different as this another, uh, I forgot, candidate. I intend to get the new job in the future and I need to uh, uh, prepare myself every day to motivation every day. Very good. And for you, Murilo. My being motivated to work abroad, and uh, I really achieve my dream in the future, and this motivates a lot. And uh, no new cultures, and uh, making yeah. friends, and uh, if I'm feeling freedom, <laughs> talking about talking English, uh, speaking English, it's, because speaking English is a uh, universal language. Yeah. And, uh, I can yeah. travel a lot and uh, no new cultures, how I said before. It's very, so much important, many nowadays. <laughs> yes, great motivation, Murilo. Thank you for sharing with us. Yeah? Uh, for you, Ju, what's your biggest motivation? My, my, big, my big motivation is the things I need, I, I need just to, to use with the, the English like I, I told. This is my my great, great, uh, biggest motivation, biggest favorite. And for you, Gabriel. Yeah, my motivation uh, is United States because I have a dream to live abroad, live in the United States in the future will help me a lot, the, the language and, yes. and job. And anyway, inside the United States, only, only this. Very good. I, I have the same motivations as you guys uh, to, and I will add a different motivation here. Uh, when you learn a, 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 an idiom, you you make a kind of a, a deep knowledge in a different culture. We can open your mind to to different people, as Murilo said. It, you are more freedom to talk in a, a different, to study, for example, yeah, uh, all the best contents of the world are produced in English. Uh, if you are make a search on YouTube on, about TED Talks or in a different websites, English for chat GPT-3, for example, make one prompt, one research in English, it's very different than you, you made in Portuguese, for example. The, the 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 information it's more and more and more and more than on uh, on Portuguese, and this is a motivation for me. Help me a lot. Yes, guys, I send you on the on the chat uh, the link for the your, our survey is important. It's uh, just one thirty seconds. You can answer uh, and help us a lot to improve this 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 moment yeah? 
Thank you a lot for the participation. Sorry for the inconvenience for the beginning, the, the problems. I will try to, to make a kind of a test before I start the conversation. But uh, I'm so happy to be here with you guys. Thank you a lot. On, this, on the next week, we, we, uh, I'm here on the same moment and the same day. Yeah. Thanks, man.